Hi, this is Jay Norris. Welcome to our midweek Forex and futures forecast. First market we're going to cover will be the Australian U.S. dollar. Um, the Australian dollar, boy, they, they, they beat this market down pretty good once again. Not a lot of hope for it, uh, you know, uh, lower lows. Uh, on the other hand, you are coming up on pretty good support. Uh, just above 90 even, you've got that long-term primary pattern. You've got a balance line there. You know, I, I think to, to really put this market in perspective, you, you'd have to pan out uh, to a weekly chart and really see where it's come from to to put it in, in more understandable terms. They're a little bit more realistic. So that, that primary support level there is, is based on the the 2010 low to that high, and there you have a pretty good balance line. So they're coming up on that pretty quick. Boy, nonetheless, it's been a short-term trader's dream just taking every sell signal along the way. A little bit confusing for currency traders because, you know, this market used to be correlated pretty heavily to the U.S. stock market. At one time, it was correlated to the euro pretty good. At one time, it was correlated to gold also, and I guess maybe that's where its problems came from. Uh, I think the problem is it's correlated to, to China. Uh, a little too closely for a lot of traders liking it with all the uncertainty over there. I think that's been the problem. Nonetheless, you're coming up on pretty good long-term support, so we'll definitely have to watch uh, just above 90, oh, 90, 91. Boy, they've got troubles uh, down under now, at least on their currency today, because it's, it's sharply lower. Next market, the euro, U.S. dollar. This is an interesting chart. You know, you can see the majority of these shorter-term patterns are higher, and that, that's really what's been ruling the roost. On the other hand, you have some long-term patterns down. That, that grand pattern, that's a five-year pattern. Your primary pattern is down. Your short-term secondary pattern is down. So I'll tell you what, you know, you go back uh, five, six months, the pattern's down. You go back uh, a couple of years, the pattern's down. You go back five years, the pattern's definitely down, too. What happened today, that's what we call a change of direction candle. Okay, it uh, it took out the short-term trend line here. Not it, not not such a short-term trend line, by the way, either. It took out that trend line, and you closed below the low of the highest closing candle, right? So you take out the low of the highest closing candle, close below it, and the trend line. That's that's a reversal. So you have to take this seriously. Yeah, if you're a swing trader, a shorter-term trader, maybe you don't take it so seriously. You're still because you've made a lot of money based on that day-to-day -day pattern, that that 10 and 20-day short-term pattern. Those are great for short-term traders, great for day traders. On the other hand, you know, there comes a time when you better pan back on these markets and, and, uh, and decide if that's serious, or not, serious enough or not. To me, you have to take a change of direction seriously. Why? Because it's in line with those longer-term patterns. Uh, we don't talk about the grand pattern a lot, but it's out there. And believe me, the, the older, longer-term traders, uh, they tend to pay attention to that too. So, yeah, I know you've got the majority of patterns up here. Uh, you got the majority of short-term patterns up, but don't forget, you've got long-term resistance coming up. So, you know, today could prove to be uh, a, a significant event in that market. That, that short-term secondary balance line there, that balance line resistance held up, and now you've got a big change of direction. So, you've got to take it seriously. Next market we'll take a look at is dollar-yen. Here's another one where you, you did change direction. You didn't quite climb above that trend line, uh, but you did close above the high, the lowest closing candle. Why do you have to take that seriously? Because the primary pattern's up, the secondary pattern's up. If you're a long-term trader, you're a position trader, you're not so interested in what's going on intraday, you need to know when uh, the daily direction changed directions. It did. So, you know, this is something that we can't rule out uh, a potential big change today, too. Wouldn't mind seeing it go back down, maybe double bottom, but... Um, you know, the markets uh, don't always do what I'd like to see them do. So with the primary pattern up, with the secondary pattern up in dollar-yen, uh, albeit the day-to-day -day pattern down, we have to take that change of direction seriously. So we'll be monitoring uh, dollar-yen going forward. E-minis, uh, the S&P 500, I should say. You know, I've been bulled up in this market for a long, long time. I, I, I didn't think this was that serious of a sell-off here. You gave us a nice double bottom in our zone. Basically, that's a balanced zone, a risk tolerance threshold levels. Market balanced up nicely in there, gave you a double bottom and started higher today. I am concerned now, however, because this happens to be a double top and it's also a lower high. Okay, I take that seriously. To me, I don't, I don't consider the possibility of a reversal in a market till I see first a lower high. In this case, we don't have a lower low. The market's still making higher lows, but we do, however, see a 
uh, lower high. So if you were to get a lower low now, meaning if you go back down and you take out 1600, I'm going to I'm going to start considering uh, the possibility of working the short side. Uh, more than that, the the majority of those short term patterns will have shifted lower. So from that standpoint, I'll, I'll be basically I'm uh, I'm taking that green light to take sell signals on the short term charts and swing trades south also. So you know I've been bulled up on this market for a long time. You tend to have a pretty good seasonal down right now. The summer doldrums set in, and not quite yet. That's generally August, but you do tend to have a seasonal sell-off in the summer. And I'm I'm a little bit leery of that, especially now that you've got that double top in place. So wouldn't surprise me if you go down and and you take out that 1600 low and uh, and maybe even challenge a level south of there. Uh, commodities, we've got to cover gold, right? Uh, here's the gold market. You know, I know you gold bulls, or if you if you got trapped long gold, uh, you're looking at the chart today. You're like, oh my gosh, it's down again. Well, that is true. It is down pretty good again today. However, you've got long-term primary pattern support just above uh, 1320 here. That may be a level to watch. And here's another one. I really think you to you have to pan out and look at it long term to put this guy in perspective. From a longer term perspective, from the, the the perspective of a primary pattern, it's still just a correction. It's just it's still just a sell off, right? Now, if you're a short term trader, or or even you know you, you trade on the daily charts, it's it's been a catastrophic sell off too. If you got caught longer, right? I mean, they just beat they just kept on beating that market. From a historic standpoint, long term trader standpoint, though, this is going to be an interesting area coming up in the gold market. So it'll be interesting to see what happens going forward if, if you did get a normal correction in the stock market. And basically, a normal correction in the stock market, looking back over the last couple of years, generally means a panic. So if you were to have a panic correction in the stock market, I wouldn't think it'd be that big of a deal, uh, but it might prove to. It may prove to pull some uh, longer-term traders who've been out of gold for a while back into the game at this level. So I'm, I'm interested in that level in the gold market going forward. Thank you so much, and we'll catch up with you next time.